It's Wednesday, man. We get those oil inventory numbers at 1030. There's your crude contract. We're looking at the June, uh, July, July crude. So quite an acceleration, right? 51.49, that low uh, of yesterday. We get a little pop. We're trading at 52.13. Um, so we get the numbers at 1030. Excuse me, it's about 1021. We're going to jump in here. We jumped around during the break. Uh, we were looking for volatility trades with exposure, bullish and bearish. One of the nice ones that lined up, now this is ticked a little bit positive, but they have a 52. We jumped into the dailies. So these have exposure until 2.30. They're $3 spreads. So we're going to have bullish exposure from 52 to 55. Yeah. Bearish from 52 to 49. Excuse me. And here's our bullish trade. This is the one that's going to have 12 cents of intrinsic value. That's going to cost us 47. So you're paying 12 bucks basically for value. You're paying 35 for premium. On the flip side, it's going to be the exact same usually. There's your 35 for premium. Yeah. No intrinsic value. So boy, you're looking at 77 bucks. Big, big dollars. Representing folks. 77 cents. Right. Add a few bucks on in commissions. You're looking right. at 80 cents, give or take. Yeah. That you need to be away from 52 to reach a break even. My goodness, you, a need, too much. you need some big action. Um, and the market, you know, you've gotten a lot of volatility with crude, man. Oh, yeah. The, the market's no, pricing is... in some premium. You yeah. got till 2.30, you have $3. And in this stance, I think they're assigning some of that premium to the fact that you might get almost $3 a movement. Yes. It's possible. No, no. I, I, Sometimes, it's... some days, you, it's really not impossible, but would be very rare with the right. types of moves you're getting. The market right. is not just assigning premium for the time, which is usually what happens here, right? Yeah. But I believe with this type of price, there's a lot of premium. There and I bet some of that premium is the fact that there's a um, the implied volatility. There's a realistic estimation that it might go to 250, yeah. uh, something yeah, like that. Yeah, you can see that. If, let, can we just pull this go up for, for a it. second? So, CLNCLM9. So, when you look at this, now, my, my take, folks, is that we want to get down to this 44. That being said, this is not a lot of volume today in the oil market as you get into lower price. Uh, last low out there had 943 or 332. Let me just see this intraday. And I believe that was a week ago, so that was probably yeah. on the EIA. Um. Now look at this. So you get a nice pop up here, 52.25. Then you get this other one down here. This is, you know, I mean, we had a big build last night, and um, you know, I put a big build in with it. We put a big bit. Five, number. six, put, or yeah, five point six million, 5 .6 million um, build which is an outlier. I think the estimate's like an increase of a million or something yeah, like that. Something. That, yeah, it's yeah. it's not right. But you know, looking at this, I'm bearish, but I think you're going to get a little pop here. Um, I think this is still building costs for lower price. Well, if you're paying those so, types of premiums, you better be looking for a big pop, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, no, I know I'm, you're I'm not. With I'm with you. Saying, no, I'm with right, you. No, it's, totally. Um, I think we're still going to be in that building cause. We've only been here five days, and because we come down from 66, it's going to take more uh, building cause in order to get to that lower price. So I think we're going to mess around a little here. So we'll see where this shakes out, man. So let's just see mm -hmm. how some of these, I think they had 52.25. So we just set it up with 52 being the price, the pivot point, right? Yeah. So you had a little bit of value on the bullish side. I think if we jump in here, there we go. So the noons, we're going to have 52.25. Now, we've ticked up. We're about the same, almost 12, 13, 14 pennies away from this one. But on the bearish side, you have value, right? So this is going to be our bearish spread. You're going to have 10, 15 cents of intrinsic value. So you're looking at 33. There's your bullish, all premium, 19. She's talking about $52. Now, the difference being, though, you have a 15 cent head start to the downside. So yeah. you got to make 52 bucks. Call 50 cents, right? You know, plus a few. Um, but you have 15 cents. So if you're a little bit bearish, maybe not not the end of the world. But right. again, 52 cents. Even if you get a move to the bearish side where you have your head start, you still need 35 cents. Yeah. And if you get the pop bullish, you need to go all the way to 52.75. Almost talking about 65 Tiny. cents before you break even. Yeah. And keeping in mind that you're capped out at 53.75. So you need 65 cents a movement to start making money and then you're capped out like a buck later if you really get yeah. um So, we'll see. 10.26 right now. We get the numbers in 4 minutes, man. Let's go Rock take and a look roll. At the uh, XLE. So, the XLE out here, that's lower 2.8 million shares. Well, that's going to get that's going to be decent volume out here. Well, except it's going into it's going to 32 million. The high there's 61.22. We take a look at this. These things have underperformed any. Oh, well, yeah, these, not XLE, still in trouble. We'll see. Oil pulled back pretty hard last night. So it did. From the open of, from yeah. the close last night to the open this morning, I said, whoa, 
Low, right. Lower prices. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials down 36, NASDAQ off 38, S&P's off 7, and the, that, uh, that the NQs, folks, are pressing low, and they have volume. So you're going to watch that NQ. You're down 42. This looks like it wants to break out as low right now. Tommy and I come right back. Folks, uh, Dow. Dow's down 40, Nasdaq off 38, S&P's off 7.5, and, and oil. Let's take a look at these oil numbers out here. So, headline number, crude oil inventories rising, 2.21 million barrels. Gas inventories rising, 764,000 barrels. Jumping back to the charts, seeing how we're hitting the market. Right now, you have oil trading 52.18. A little bit of a pop on that, but it pulled back pretty quickly, man. We're trading at 52.12 about, coming into that yeah. number. You spike up to 52.32. And um, right back to where we were right now. Yeah. Um, so we'll so see how it... They got a lot of premium in there for uh, not much movement at this particular point. And I guess as they break this down, we'll get the full breakdown within about a minute or two usually, but I guess the entire build in Cushing. Um, so I wonder where the expected breakdowns were of the Cushing yeah, versus right. um, Pad 3, right? They right. Have the variety. There right. we go. There okay. Go. So median estimate was a decline of a million barrels. We right. came in at a surplus of 2.2. Yeah. Gas, pretty close, 764 versus a 900 build expected. Uh, distillates, kind of a reversal of a 1.1 decline, uh, excuse me, a million decline. Estimate was an increase of 1.1. And uh, there's Cushing, about Cushing two, had the two million one. barrels. Yeah, yeah, actually had a decrease in pad three crude. And uh, look at the refinery utilization. They're ramping it back up, right? Oh, that's yeah. been, so plus 1.4, estimate was plus 0.6. And um, crude imports. Minus 316,000 barrels Imports a day, down. and production down as well. So that's oops. per day, huh? 360,000 per day. Yes, right? yes, yes. That's a lot. Man. That is definitely that's... a lot. Oh, oh, give it a give it a few seconds, oh, man. Look, look at that. that. So we're trading 5186. Quite a little thrust, especially yeah. when the the first head fake uh, up to 5230. Right. We're now 50 cents off and cheaper prices, man. We're going to be going for that low it had at 5 a.m. of about 5149, and it's not stopping, man. No, it's not. Not it's stopping. Not, That's where some yeah. defined risk would be nice. I don't know how you navigate. Uh, we're now talking about a 60 cent bar in the span of about 30 seconds. Right. Let's check back to oil. Where are we going to be? Yeah. Oh, we're right back at 52, right where we started, man. Look at that. That's got to be frustrating if yeah. you made that volatility trade. And this is where, you know, quick fingers can never hurt, man, in terms of you had, a, you had an opportunity here maybe to close out that bearish trade if you thought it was going to be bullish. I'm not saying I would have even, you know, but no. just something yeah. to consider when you right. get a move. That goes from 52.30 down to 51.64. Um, might be time to, uh, you know, if you don't think that move's going to be continuing, you always want to be revaluing that right. trade uh, right. because we've seen it many times. The first move is not always a move that hangs. Oh, yeah. and, and before we're done, we might be at $53 oil um, the yep. way this moves sometimes. You get a lot of moving pieces out here. No two Seems like they might have priced that volatility uh, correctly coming in. I know. If you're getting 60 cents one way, 50 cents the other, yeah. and it's only eight minutes after the news, and they were pricing that until 2.30. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. We're going to we'll go with our man, uh, come up with our man, Teddy Kegstad. Uh, Dow, right now, Dow is down 22, Nasdaq's off 36, S&P's up 5.5, Gold's up 6.70, Silver's up 4 cents, King Dollar's up 20 ticks. Come right back. And speaking of the tide of oil, a little bit of volatility, man. It yeah. can't quite figure out where it wants to go. I know. We spiked down to 51.64. We're back up to 52.30. Boom, we're back down to 51.82. Um, we'll find out. The day is young. We'll see where that crew contracts goes. No doubt. Yes.